I feel like every video now, I slack more and more when it comes to making videos. The main reason that I haven't been releasing videos recently was due to the garden update. Totally, totally not you. I'm currently trying to match my farming level on my new profile. It's taken quite a while, so I decided to make a video going over some of my pet peeves for the garden update. Quick notice though, before I start, I'm pretty sure some of these ideas may be getting patched in future updates. But I've already been working on this video for a little bit, and decided to post it anyway, so with that disclaimer, let's get into it. But before we get into it, <laughs> make sure you like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And you know, it would make me get my videos out faster, so I appreciate it. Number one, the melon dicer and the pumpkin dicer. I may be a sucker for pumpkins but I mained them for the last 40 hours of farming. And the upgrades from the Pumpkin Dicer and the Melon Dicer, in my opinion, suck. Comparing the Max Melon Dicer and Pumpkin Dicer to a regular hoe is pretty much a joke. The addition of Sunder 5 was great, However, the regular axe received no upgrade besides 5 farming wisdom. Personally, I would have loved to see the RNG drops either scale with the level, for example, pray to RNGesus drop maybe dropping 3 stacks of enchanted pumpkins instead of 1 if you upgrade it to the 3.0, or maybe the chances to the RNG to increase in general. Number 2, NPC visitors in a co-op. Now, this idea is a little more niche, but it's still quite annoying in my opinion. If you have a co-op in the garden, you may understand my problem. The garden added NPC visitors in the new update, and these visitors allow you to give them farming drops to receive copper and farming XP. However, with a co-op, only one person can use the NPCs at once. For example, if I give this NPC what they want and get their rewards, my co-op member may not receive those rewards. So, with a large co-op and all of you trying to do the NPCs, you run out of them fairly quickly. So in my opinion, I think that most of the co-op should receive the rewards, or scale the rewards down for everybody, so not just one person gets the rewards. This one isn't really bad, it's just kind of annoying. Farming fortune. This one sucks. To try uh, not to spoil my video for farming, I may have spent just a few coins on a specific set. This set being so expensive, I didn't realize how little amount of farming fortune I would receive. The upgrade from squash armor to fermento armor is only 5 farming fortune. Mind you that it costed 30 million coins per fermento piece. The scaling of the armor is non-existent, and personally it just isn't worth it right now. So I would love to see that get changed. This one's also very niche. This one can also be very easily fixed. When you first go into the garden, there's a quest that Sam gives you. You need to clear a plot, and if all the plots are cleared by your co-op, you get softlocked and can't complete the quest. So just another little pet peeve. This one I think is a really cool concept and I really think should have been added into the game. Farming Reforge. I wanted to see a Farming Reforge on this update to go more into specifics. In the Crystal Hollows you can do a Nucleus run and receive a Jader Roll. This Reforge stone gives you more mining speed and fortune and I personally would have loved to see a Farming Reforge similar to this and it gives you speed and farming fortune. I think that would have been nice. And you could have put it in a collection like Netherwort or Mushrooms where there's not as many items in the collection. Okay, now this one is serious. Garden Milestone Scaling. So I have a buddy named Zeus. He's pretty good at the game. And I asked him about this one because I knew it was pretty bad. And he told me it would take years to decades to max out the garden. Now, if we're going to specifics, I have the screenshot right here. He told me that for each crop, 45 to 46 is 40 billion crops. 44 to 45 is 30 billion. And you have to do that 10 times for each crop. So you'll be doing somewhere it's of 170 billion for each crop. And mushroom is only 10,000 mushrooms per minute. And he told me that mushrooms would take decades. Now, honestly, I don't think the admins intentionally did that. Maybe they were stalling. But this is absolutely insane. Even Skatha Bestiary, which will take 10 years, is less than this. That is personally insane to me. And I think it should definitely be changed to something a little more feasible. Enchanted Seeds. This one's really just for Iron Man players. Enchanted Seeds are also one of the most annoying items to receive because they don't scale with Farming Fortune. So in my opinion, it could be easily fixed by scaling Seeds and Farming Fortune. And that's about it for this video. I have a lot more pet peeves about the garden and other parts of the game if you guys would like to see that, but let me know. But I really need to get back to farming. So I'll see you guys in the future. Bye.